Hey y'all, welcome. I am finally back. My name is Candace. if you're new here. I've been gone for like, I don't know, a couple of months at this point. I haven't filmed in a few months. I have had my baby. She's beautiful. She's absolutely amazing. I will share her with you soon. I will share my birth story, all of that. Like some of you have requested, don't worry, and a lot of other baby things, but we're also gonna continue sharing luxury too. But I just wanted to give you a quick update on that. In today's video, I'm going to do a very highly requested video, and it's my luxury stores where I shop from that I know and trust. Some of to share that I know that I don't necessarily trust because I don't have personal experience with them but I'm still going to share them with you just in case you want to purchase from them. Also I'm going to share the sites that are best for sales that I found. Yeah let's dive into the video. The first store I'm going to share with you is Italy. Also I have my computer here. Green. Oh I need to clean my case. Greasy. Of course it's green. Also I changed my hair. I just straightened it. I still have natural hair. Calm down. I am feeling a straight look. Anyway I have my computer to do research on the sites I'm not too familiar with so I can give you information. What brands do offer even some of the ones I'm familiar with I forget so first one is Italist they are based in Italy you can often find new releases on this website so for example spring summer 2023 collections I don't know Fendi Gucci and I'm not sure if they have Gucci actually but they have those bigger brands Givenchy you know brands like that even brands that have just launched product you can often find things on here kind of randomly scattered about the sizing may not be yours but you can definitely continue checking back also for example say you want a Givenchy jacket you may see one link for it on the website but there may be another link for it under another category or something. Sometimes you have to dig through, but I have found some great pieces on here and they are legit. They have sent me my stuff. Shipping didn't take too long, maybe mm, about five days, three to five. I don't think shipping is too expensive either. So it's one of the sites I trust, but sometimes it's kind of hard to find things on there that you really want. They do have some good treasures from time to time. Next is Guilt and Rue La La. So this is an app that you have to sign up for. Both of them are apps. I think they're kind of related, if I'm not mistaken, because they often have the same image on there so they're also legit. I have gotten a Burberry scarf on there at a good price. Things like Burberry, is not, that's a brand I don't really pay full price for. I even got, spoiler alert, a trench coat. My very first trench coat from Burberry and I refused to pay full price and I did not. I didn't get it from here but I'll share that later in my luxury haul. This is an app you can also find great luxury brands. They also have great vintage pieces, vintage bags. If you're looking for a specific thing, you may not find specifically what you're looking for but it's kind of like one of those websites where you have to check back every week or every other day or something just to see what else they have on the app. So great place to shop luxury at a discount. Next, I have zero experience. I've never ordered from the site. This is a luxury fashion website that is legit that, as far as I'm concerned. Antonioli. They have brands like Alexander McQueen, Alexander Wayne, Amina Mwadi, Balenciaga, Bottega, Burberry, Chloe, Givenchy, Gucci, Jacques Mousse. So they have a great selection of different luxury pieces. You want to check them out. They're based in Italy. Also have, you know, Lueve, Mugler, Tom Ford, Versace. There's more than that. I just had like a select few shown here to show. You know how those websites have like the main brands, not the main brands, but like I guess the most popular first. And then you can click the view all to see what else they have. Actually, let me see what else they have. I'm curious. I haven't shopped here before. Okay, so they have a wide range of different brands, large and small, like your contemporary luxury as well. Let me pull up some bags. Okay, yeah, so 2500 and duties and taxes are included. For things like that or like this, if it's not on sale, I wouldn't necessarily get it overseas because it's the same price over here. Now, sometimes with some of these luxury websites, which we'll get into, you can save some money. Duties and taxes included and it's cheaper than the US. But I will tell you about those sites. As far as this one, for this particular product that I looked at, it doesn't seem that it's any cheaper. So I would only probably shop this website if there were pieces that I couldn't get over here. They're like pieces that I just couldn't wait to get. I will get it from one of these sites because they usually get it first before we do it in the States. Okay, next we have Elephants in Japan. This this isn't a website I have shopped from directly. However, Farfetch deals with them. So I have no reason to believe that they are not legit because they deal with them. I don't even think I can access this website. It's a Japanese based website basically. I forget. I think this necklace may have come from them. This off-white necklace, which I'll have linked below. You can find it somewhere here, but it was just cheaper. I need to get it on Farfetch because I was able to use a discount, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this necklace came from Elephant, Elephants. They may pronounce it differently. They are based in Japan. That's all I basically know because I can't really access the website. 
y'all know how certain websites you can't access unless you're in that particular country, but this is one of those sites. But just know that they work directly with Farfetch. If you're in Japan, you happen to be over there, that they have luxury fashion. If you wanna look for a brick and mortar store. Next, we have Moda Operandi. Operandi. I have directly dealt with the site. I've gotten a few pieces from the site at a discount. My city mini bag I got from there at a great price. I got a few other things from there as well. They have different designers as well. Jock Moose, Rodarte, um, Balenciaga, Bottega, Brandon Maxwell, Chloe, Christian Louboutin, Jock Moose, Miu Miu, Montclair. They often have great sales too, like discounts. So what is, I know I had a piece of hair on me. They have great deals too. Also, if you sign up for their emails, you get 10% off. So that's always nice if you have like 10 emails. Just saying. Next we have Ukes. I have semi familiarity, familiar, familiarity with them. Most of these are all overseas. Okay, just to let you know. I'll tell you which ones are in the States that I know of. They have designers like Dolce & Gabbana, Roberto Cavalli. I do not pronounce that, I'm sorry. Marnie, Mason Margiela, Stella McCartney, Chloe Versace, Prada, Balenciaga. So they have some of the major designers that also have like contemporary designers as well. They also have discounts sometimes and they are legit. I've ordered from them, no problems with getting my order. It takes a little longer. It's not one of those express next day, two day shipping. So just keep that in mind, but they're still great. Next we have Satire. We get some things to say about them because I'm currently dealing with them right now. They are legit, yes. They are Melbourne based, Australia, of course. Okay, so I've ordered multiple things from them in the past, no issue. However, this last instance, I've ordered things from them and I had one thing that was too small. I was like, oh crap, I gotta deal with the returns. And that's what I've read the negative reviews about, their returns, how horrible, you know, it is, you might not get your money back, all of that. There's a pair of Fendi shorts, those Fendi silk black shorts. I got a size 40, they're too small. They do not fit like the Fendi Vertigo shorts, which are very roomy, very giving for curves and all of that. Those shorts aren't, I need a bigger size. And unfortunately, the biggest size they had to stop was a 40, so there's no way I can do like an exchange or anything like that. It's been past 10 days. I'm not getting my money back. They received it for more than 10 days. Today is November 7th. They get the return package on October 24th. I sent them emails like, where the hell is my money? I didn't say it like that. It was nice the first time because I do want my money back. And they were like, we have to check for quality, whatever. The tags are still on, which is bullshit in my opinion. Anyway, they're checking for quality. They'll give me my money back soon. So I have email, I have that in writing. I didn't pay through PayPal. <laughs> of course, they don't take PayPal because I'll be following suit. A lot of people will be following suits and if they don't do right with their returns, things don't go well with this. I don't get my money back. I'll keep you updated on that. Then I'll be doing a dispute with my credit card company. That's just how it is. So they're legit. Just make sure you don't want to return anything if you order from them. If you happen to need a return for anything, possibly don't deal with them. My Burberry belt bag I got from them and no problems, legit and all of that. They have Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, Bottega, Christian Louboutin, Dior, White, Prada, Saint Laurent, Valentino, Gucci. This website that I'm about to tell y'all about, if I am butchering any of these names, don't come for me. I don't know, okay? I'm just showing you the information. This is called Torti. I know it's not right. This is Italy based. I have zero experience with them. I have not shopped from them, but it looks legit from as far as I can see. They have brands like Balmain. They have Balenciaga, obviously, right there. Adidas, Alexander Wang, Birkenstock, Goldie, Alexander McQueen, Amina Mwadi. Aquazura. So they have pretty good names. If you're looking for like Gucci, they don't have them. They have Dolce & Gabbana, Jimmy Choo, Kenzo, Loewe, New Balance, Nanushka, Off-White. So they have a pretty wide range of brands, even contemporary brands, Reebok. I'm not 100% certain if they offer discounts often. Okay, so they have like 30% off, 50% off. Of course, not of anything major that I can see. Next, I have Tiziana Fosti. I do have experience with them. They are based in Italy. They are legit. I got a vintage Gucci tee from them. I got a couple other things from them. They have great discounts on things you can find on there. You also get a 10% discount for sign up for their newsletter. But when things go on sale, they sell out quickly. So if you see something today, it may be gone tomorrow. They also have like new launches, like upcoming launches, upcoming collections, but they do have men's things as well. I'm saying when things show up in the sale, it's often good stuff. Like the Gucci vintage tee I got was in the sale category. So they have actual good things. So that's a cute Salvatore program bag. They've been stepping up their game with their bags. Maybe I should do some shot with me videos like browsing. Let me know if y'all be interested in that in the comments below. This is a new brand I'm familiar with, Tom Brown. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or y'all can tell me and I'll have to figure it out. I saw Aisha Curry rock an outfit on Instagram. Badass. And I asked y'all on Instagram, what brand is that? What brand is she wearing? And y'all told me Tom Brown. I'm like, okay, I need to look into them because they have kind of a preppy vibe that I really like. They have Stella McCartney in here. 
Adidas Tom Ford. It's one of your more major brands that's on sale. Tom Ford, Aquazura, Paris, Texas, Palm Angels. So they have Amina Mwadi in here. This is how you can see who's in the sale. If you're only interested in seeing what Gucci's on sale or whatever, Balenciaga, you can just click it, filter it. I love filters. You don't have to deal with the BS. They have Balenciaga in here. Okay, 40% off. Not many pieces, but they have a selection. Louisa via Roma. Are they legit? Are they freaking legit? Hell yes, they are freaking legit. I spend way too much money on here. Here's the thing with Louisa via Roma. They have great discounts. Like for example, they have the 35% off singles day discount, but you can't do it on any starred items. So I'm gonna quickly go to my wish list right quick. I'll go to my bag. I'll just show you what I got in there. I'm still on the fence about these things, okay? And maybe by the time I post this video, I'll have used this credit. And I probably will have. So these starred items right here, like if it has a star beside it you can't use the major discounts that they have but when you shop you accumulate these points these rewards points and i believe on platinum or something you get higher discounts the higher more you spend just for example i have this credit that i've traded some of my points in and i'm able to get 300 dollars off Bottega Veneta sandals which it has a star beside it so any other time you couldn't have gotten a discount on i just don't know if this large would be too big small in these i know it fit because i small in two other colors and i love these pants by the way they're freaking awesome but i'm just just not familiar with this. I'm gonna have to get large just to see. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully, I remember to check out before I post this video, or somebody's gonna steal my code. Okay, next. Another website I spend way too much money on. My Teresa. They're based in Germany, I guess. While we're at it, I'll go ahead and show you my wish list. I have this Burberry bag. It's similar to my belt bag. This is not a wish list video. I don't know why I'm telling you this. They have great discounts sometimes. Sometimes. Like now, they have like a singles day, but you can't use it on anything major. You can use it on Burberry. I think things like this brand you can so if you spend a thousand dollars you get two hundred off you spend two thousand get five hundred off you can get it off Burberry you can get it off Walford but brands like Gucci Prada the things you want to get the discount you can't Balenciaga I got no anything you could do it they do have great specials from time to time sometimes they can take a bit longer to get launches but they have a great selection of designer pieces and they ship really fast Louisa Verona ships kind of fast too they ship within the same week if you order like on a Monday or Tuesday but my Teresa I'm talking two days after you're gonna have it which is crazy. The shipping is free if you spend a certain amount, which I usually spend a certain amount. <laughs> Next website, I spend way too much on Farfetch. I believe they're based in London, if I'm not mistaken. They have great discounts too, sometimes. The great thing about them, what I always do before I shop on Farfetch, I go to YouTube. I'm gonna type in Farfetch. Y'all already know where I'm going discount code. I do this with all the sites I shop on, by the way. I look for code. Even if it's a, a site I know is not gonna have one, I look anyway, because you just never know. So I filter this because those codes expire hella fast. So what I'll do is find a recent discount code to use that I can use as an existing customer too. Because some codes, you have to set up a new email address to be able to use it. But lately, they've been including more codes to use. So basically, you just click one of these videos, preferably more recent, so like one day ago, same day, seven hours ago, and look for the code and use it as an existing customer if you've already shopped on there and get 10% off. That's usually the best you're gonna do unless you shop from something in the Saw collection and then even with that some brands are excluded from the 10%. Okay so Muse is the next company. They're currently under construction. They are also a luxury brand. I have no familiarity. Flamil? Flamil? Familiarity. None. I have no idea how they work. However, next, Matches Fashion. I'm 100% familiar with them. I believe they're based in the United Kingdom? Yep, they ship really fast as well. Ooh, those are cute card holders. I love that. What designers they have. Often have coupon codes too. Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, Bottega Chloe. They have your bigger brands, Gucci, all of them. Highly recommend, I love them. I also love 24S. They're based in France. I'm not gonna go through my wish list. Y'all want me to do a separate video showing y'all my wishlist and my cart for these sites? Just let me know. For 24S, that is where I got my Burberry Trench spoiler alert. And I got like $400 off. I used a 15% off coupon code. I got the Chelsea. So I paid less than two grand for that code. And it cost over two grand, which is a great deal to me. That's one of the things I've had on my wishlist for a while. And I just did not want to pay full price. And I was able to find one in my size. It took a couple of tries. That's another company I'm still waiting my money back from. But they specify that they take 10 to 15 days or something to give you your money back. Which if you tell me, that's fine. But if you don't tell me, we've got a problem. I initially got a smaller size and a size up actually, too small because it's a tailored fit. But we'll talk about that in my luxury haul. They have great discounts. You can use discounts on practically anything. I actually have something in my cart now. 
What is this? I told y'all I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm curious. What is okay, it's a new jacket. It's killing me to have to pay for a price for this jacket, but I love it. Maybe Christmas gift to myself. Okay, so next we have Essence. They are Canada Canadian based. I got my Red Jacques Mousse La Grande Chiquito bag from them. I had no problems. They ship, I think, reasonably fast. However, I know they're legit and all of that, but recently, a couple months ago, they had people complaining about not getting their orders on Instagram, on their comments. They kept deleting comments. They kept clearing the comment section. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they're back to normal. Like they used to be, because I didn't have any problems. That's sketchy as hell. I just had to tell y'all about that. If you want to take a risk and order from them, they do have great discount. Like for now, they have a 20% off. I would be scared as hell to use it because if I place my order for hundreds and thousands of dollars and I don't get my order, we're gonna have a problem. I wonder if they still take PayPal though, because usually when you pay through PayPal, I have experience with that. And you have any problems, you follow a dispute, you have your receipts, you get your money back instantly, almost. They have some unique pieces. I might have to take a look. I just told y'all I wasn't gonna spend no money. I would take a risk for smaller orders. So they have a Goldie, they have Acme, Alexander Wang, McQueen, Amina Mawadi, let's see, do they have Gucci, Fendi? Fendi, Gucci. So yeah, they have the major brands as well. But keep in mind about the shipping. Lurk the Instagram page to see if anything's changed. Okay, Tradesy. You can buy and sell designer items on here, but they often have new designer items with the tag at a discount. They often have coupon codes as well. I found my Fendi scarf on there at a great price. Just a week ago, I didn't check out, I missed out. They had the Balenciaga Kagol ankle boots on there for $1,300, which y'all know the price is like $1,900, $1,819. Great deal, brand new by the way. And they have a bunch of other stuff on here. So you kind of just have to dig, not dig, but you know, filter it and shop that way. Great sellers on here. I always pick the ones with great reviews, of course. So if you're looking for something specific, this is a website I would check first to see if they have it because people, shoppers get it from overseas, cheaper, and they sell it cheaper on here. So just to keep in mind. Next, Harvey Nichols. I have zero experience with them. However, I heard they're legit from legit people. Major designer brands as well, also in beauty. I don't really have experience with them, so I can't tell you whether or not they have sales and all of that. I'll be checking back on Black Friday, Cyber Monday to see. Next, Next is Dante Five. No familiar with. I need to just stop saying that damn word. I haven't shopped on that before, okay? So I have no idea. As far as sales, shipping, returns, all of that, I don't know. If I didn't tell you they're based in Italy. Okay, so they have a shorter list of designers, but still. They have Balmain, they have McQueen, Ghani, Golden Goose, Jacques Mousse, Kenzo, Montclair, MSGM. So they have a great selection of brands. Again, I'm just not familiar with them. Next, we have Selfridges, 100% legit. When I went to London, I shopped there, so I know they're legit. I bought my denim Chanel bag out of there, but I have no experience with their online platform. I have not ordered online with them yet, but I definitely would. Shipping is a bit more pricey, but honestly, when you look at most of the prices on here, it's worth paying the shipping because it's cheaper. For example, Jacques Mousse, there's this bag in here, like, I think that's the, the la, la something, La Bambino Long, two or $300 cheaper than it is over here. And the shipping was like $50. I'm like, okay, I'm saving money with the bag, so who cares about $50? So some of these prices are cheaper. So the Bambino Long, I'm used to that being like 900 bucks, I think. I might be totally wrong, but I know that 655 is way cheaper than it is over here. And then shipping, like I said, might be $55 to get it over here to the States. But if you're saving two or $300, that's just how I see it. They're legit though. You can get often bags much cheaper on here than here. I mean, on there than here. Next, Neiman Marcus. I can tell you, well, that's a shout out of a doubt. They're legit. They're based here in Dallas and I'm in there all the time. I've bought so many things from Neiman Marcus, it's not even funny. They have great discounts too, as you can see. But of course, your major Balenciaga, Bottega, brands like that, you're not gonna get no discount. They have great gift card options, or great gift card promotions, like if you buy Burberry. That's one of the brands. Then you can qualify for a gift card promotion and you can use it on future purchase. So that in itself is a great deal. Also, Fashion Found partners with Neiman Marcus here. So if I were to sell a bag to Fashion file is in the store. I just take it in the store and I can request to get a Neiman Marcus gift card. They give me 10% more than they would have given me if I just requested cash. So that's a great deal. And with that, you have to shop at Neiman Marcus. But if you're buying other luxury pieces, great deal. While we're talking about Dallas, Nordstrom, I believe is also, why is that not on here? If I'm not mistaken, they're also based in Dallas. I'm almost positive. They don't have top of the line luxury online. Like for example, some Nordstroms have Chanel's. Our Nordstrom's do not here in Dallas, but they do in other places because I follow with some personal shoppers on Instagram and they have Chanel boutiques. They have Gucci boutiques. We don't have that. They do have those luxury brands. They also have sales, but not on the luxury stuff. Also with Neiman Marcus, you can request two day shipping. Most of the time it's free. Depends on how much you spend. I think they have the shop runner. If you have shop runner account, you can get free two day shipping. Nordstrom, however, they're shipping. <sighs> 
They have okay shipping. It's just that when I'm used to shopping other brands that offer two day shipping, next day shipping for free, having to wait a week for my package, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But you get it with Nordstrom, I should tell you. You may or may not get the original packaging. Like you buy a Saint Laurent bag, you may not get the box. You may just put it in the bag. You literally, like a plastic bag, tape it up and put it inside a cardboard box. That bothers you, you may want to stay away. Also, Bergdorf Goodman is Neiman Marcus. They're both the same company, I think. They're owned by the same company something like that. Bergdorf is based in New York, whereas Neiman Marcus is based down here. So I guess they're trying to cover both coasts. And Bergdorf Goodman, same kind of thing. Two-day shipping. Okay, so they have the gift card promos. Next, I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? I'm just gonna put it on screen. Nugnes? Nugnes? I have no experience with them. I have not shopped there, but they have 30% off right now on fall winter collections, so that's a great sign. They have brands like Chloe, McQueen, Balenciaga, Balmain, Dolce and Gabbana, so they have great brand options too. Okay, the outnet. I don't have experience shopping on there as well, on here. They have have great brands too. Don't say Ghani, you know, Bash. I have seen that where they had great deals. They just never had anything I wanted, particularly. Next we have Nana Porte. Legit, 100%. I've shopped there multiple times. They have an app too. They also have great discounts. When you sign up for a new email or their newsletter, they often, well, they'll give you a 10% discount. And usually, from my experience, it doesn't matter the brand that you shop with. Let's see, I could use one of those brands where you cannot do the newsletter discount, but on here, you can. Tom Ford, same thing. They have great solids too. Forward, legit. I have actually my little nano, mini hour, my nano hourglass from Balenciaga. I think it might be the Super Nano. That came from Forward. I got a couple other things from Forward. They are freaking amazing. Fast shipping too. You can also sign up for their newsletter for 10% off. Those 10% offs may be small, but they handle the tax in most cases, sometimes even more, which is a great deal. And they have great brands too. They have all of these, Adidas and Goldie, McQueen, Wang, Balenciaga, Balmain, other brands as well. Also under the Forward branch of operations, they have Elise Walker. I before didn't have any experience with them, but I recently ordered from there. Great experience, quick, fast shipping. They had what I wanted. I got, full alert, the Attico Devon Mules. I got them in pink, huge size. I had to size up like three times in there in these shoes, but I was able to get them. So they have a more limited designer section, unlike Forward that has a much broader range of designer brands, but they still have great options. They have the Attico, you know, and they have Montclair, Saint Laurent, Etro. Also, they have Forward by Elise Walker. Okay. Is that the same thing? Okay, yeah. That's the exact same thing as Forward. So let me take this off my list. So they have Forward and then they have Elise Walker. But Forward is by Elise Walker. But it's two different sites, if that makes sense. Okay, so they also have the double F. I don't have any experience shopping on this website. So I can't tell you whether or not, from what I know, it's legit. I just can't tell you about shipping or anything, but it is another designer option. If you want to shop there, Paris, Texas, Burberry, Chloe, Dolce & Gabbana, the Attic Coast, Della McCartney, Prada, things like that. Next, the Webster. I have not shopped directly from the site, but I was close. I had this Burberry turtleneck that I really wanted. I've been kind of holding my carts. I haven't like just checked out anything fast. I think about things before I check out now because I, I can spend a lot of money and waste a lot of money very easily. I was able to find that shirt somewhere cheaper somewhere else, so that's what I did. Anyway, they have a great discount now, 25% off, just to let you know. They have brands like Wang, Amin Mwadi, Bottega Veneta, Amiri, Loewe, Mugler. They do have great designer brand options. This is a website I would consider shopping at soon because they have 25% off. So I'm gonna see what they have. Next, we have Lord & Taylor. I don't really think they have a wide range of designer items. That's why I really haven't shopped there, but they do have them. They have great discounts. They have more of your contemporary brands. As you see, they have a 20% off newsletter discount. They have designers like, oh, brands. <laughs> So they have Balenciaga, they have Badgley Mish Mishka, they have Bebe, they have Blank NYC, Burberry, Celine. Ooh, they got Celine. Usually you don't find Celine on sites, from my experience, other than Celine.com. Next, Saks. Another website I spend way too much money on. New York City based, obviously, Saks Fifth Avenue. <sighs> I love the site so much. I have a Saks card. They give you great points when you shop certain brands during certain times. They also have gift card promos. They have all your major brands. I mean, all of them. Even the ones they don't have on here, they're kind of like Nordstrom, where certain
certain stores have more brands. Like when I went to Saks in Miami, Naples, somewhere, they had brands like Chanel. We don't even have a Saks anymore. I think, well, we don't have that store anymore either. What is that now? We used to have a Saks, but I really don't think Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom like that because they're based here and Saks is a competitor. So, but I prefer Saks over those two. I kind of prefer Neiman Marcus. I have problems finding things in Saks stores. I don't know why that is. I have much better luck online. And that's why I shop online. When I go out of state, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to go to Saks. They have a Saks. And I go in there and there's like nothing. There's like two of each item in there. I don't know if that's normal. I think that Atlanta might be one of the more popular stores. I don't know if they have more inventory in store, but I was not impressed, honestly, with inventory in stores in Miami, Naples, and somewhere else I went. Houston, maybe. They didn't have anything. So shop online if you can. Next, Baltini. No experience shopping here, but they do have sales. They have Burberry, obviously. There you go. Balenciaga. Next, Browns Fashion. I do have experience with them. I bought a couple of bodysuits recently from them, which I'll be featuring in my luxury hauls coming soon. They have some major designers. They have like Amina Mwadi, Balenciaga, Balmain, Bottega, Burberry, Chloe, Fendi, Givenchy, Gucci, Jacquemus. So they do have a great selection of brands, but the inventory is kind of limited. So they have certain pieces from these brands, but they have discount codes that you can use. I think Gucci may be the only excluded brand, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe I'm thinking about another company. There's so many to keep up with. They do have 15% off coupon codes. Every time I place an order with Browns Fashion, they include a card with my order with a 15% off code. 15% off, not 50, I wish. 15% off code. So next we have Gymnasium. Online. <laughs> GNB. GNB. We're going to stick with that. I don't know if you can put it in English. And if you could, I don't know how to read it to put it in English. Certain words in Italian are similar to Spanish, which I can understand those. But straight up Italian, that's not even close like telefono. Telefono is telephone in Spanish. Also Italian, I guess. But all these other words, I couldn't tell you. The reason I put this on here is one, everybody here is not in the States. Some of you may be in these European countries and you may want to shop these sites. I have no experience with this yet, but I'm considering doing it. So there's a way to get an address overseas. They have like these European PO boxes that you can get as a US citizen. And you just pay them like a monthly fee or something. You pay them a shipping price to ship everything to you. So basically you place all your orders, you get them sent to that box. When you're ready, you contact them or something they put them all in one box together and they ship everything to you for one cent price i have no experience with that yet but that is why i put this on my list if i ever see something on here that i really want that i'm unable to get in the states that's what your girl gonna do and there is this store overseas called monkey m-o-n-k-i not luxury by the way there's some other like Boohoo, Zara. They have my style of clothes, okay? The problem is they don't have any locations in the States. You can buy them on ASOS, but it's not the same as shopping on Monkey. And when I went to London, I think they have some in Paris too. I just went crazy in that store. They sold me pieces that I really liked. During that time is when I considered getting a P.O. box. And I've reconsidered recently. I need to just go ahead and get it. I think you can do it in any country that allows US citizens to do it. Australia, you can do it. I mean, you can get an Australian box. You can get a European box. You can get, I don't even know. I don't wanna make up stuff. Just know you can do that. And you can probably save some money. The problem comes when that stuff crosses that border. You think you are avoiding those duties and taxes. When they cross that border, DHL, FedEx, they gonna open that box system. They gonna charge you them taxes if they want to. So don't think you can get by by doing it like that. I know what y'all are thinking. Like in Paris, designer bags are cheaper. Place a lot of orders and get them sent to the PO box system. You may get by it without paying them taxes, but trust me, Uncle Sam can always find a way to get his. Okay, so Forzier is the next site. And I'm also not familiar with this, but they have great brands too. They have discounts. I just don't know if they're legit or anything like that, but they look legit based on what I see. They seem to have more contemporary brands which is still good, you know. They have Miu Miu, they have Balmain, they have Balenciaga, so they do have some brands that aren't contemporary too. Modes Luxury. Okay, so Modes is based in Italy. I don't have any experience with them, but I still want to tell you about them. They have designers such as Amina Mwadi, Jacquemus Balenciaga, Marine Serre. Serre? Tell me how to pronounce that too, because I don't know. Rick Owens, Saint Laurent, The Attico. Last two, Base Blue. I actually need to revisit all of these for Black Friday to see what they got going on. Also not familiar with this, but they offer 15% off your first order. So if you sign up for the newsletter, I had not. McQueen, Amina Mwadi, Batman, Christian Louboutin, Chloe, Max Mara, Montclair, Moschino, Off-White. So they have great brands as well. All of these do. It's just all about whether or not you want to trust them or not. Vidcat, that's the last one. I don't have any familiarity with them. That was better. 20% <laughs> off selected AW22 items. 10% mm. off 
If you join the email list, Burberry Bottega Gucci Louis Vuitton. What? You often don't find Louis Vuitton. They must be talking vintage. Let me see what they got. I didn't think Louis Vuitton was available anywhere except for Louis Vuitton. Okay, these prices killing me. You're killing me slow. Where is USD? Because I'm seeing nine grand. I'm like, for that? Um course you're making me start over let me go back to louis vuitton let's see the correct prices in u.s dollars see when i gotta do all this extra work it makes me not interested in shopping i'm just saying this is a long list of sites if y'all know of any others feel free to leave them in the comments so we all can see them but i hope that helps you i shop at a lot of these on the list and i told you the ones that i don't so i don't know anything about those but i had told you the truth about i always tell y'all the truth okay about the ones that i have shopped from my experience and all of that great shipping i told y'all the ones that ship really slow it's all about testing it out that's what i usually do i mean i don't just test it out i do my research first i look for bad reviews like satire they had horrible reviews but i also know some youtubers talked about that and i'm like would she really be endorsing as a luxury youtuber if they were not legit so i'll keep y'all updated on if i get my money back i'm gonna get my money back when it up but it may not come from satire i hope it does so i don't have to go through those extremes to get my money back like going through my bank but I will if I have to. I don't play by my money. If you're not familiar with any of these that I named that I'm not familiar with, I recommend checking out like PayPal, you know, some company that you can do a dispute with. If you have a great credit card like American Express or something like that, do a dispute if you don't get your money back. If something happens. If you want to be on the safe side, just stick to the ones I recommended. I promise you they're great. I've had great experiences. I stand behind them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you know of any others in the comments. And also let me know if y'all want me to do like a shop with me, share my wishes list add to cart shopping type of video where I share one of these stores or a couple and show you my wish list I don't know things I like new items that are in things I like styling tips on those etc let me know if y'all be interested in something like that it seems like it'd be fun to do but I'm not gonna do it unless y'all are interested I'll leave another video here in case y'all are interested sorry this is so long but I'll talk to y'all soon thanks for watching